We're going to use the cosine rule to find the unknown length in this triangle here. Now, when you label this triangle, here's our formula, first of all. Now, we can see that we're trying to find A squared. We're trying to find A. So, very similar to when we were doing uh, real estate and we were looking at the costs involved in buying a house. Uh, one of the costs was the commission that you had to pay the real estate agent. In this case, when you're buying One thing we want to do is keep our students engaged with the videos that we're making. So, they need to be that, that shorter length. Now, the last thing I want to say about making shorter videos is if you do this, you can harness something that I like to call the Game of Thrones effect. Now, the basic idea is that when I watch an episode of Game of Thrones and it finishes, the next thing I want to do is watch the next Game of Thrones and move it up to the top. Now, when you move it there, you'll see that I've put the center exactly where A is. It's important that you try to be as accurate as possible. And I've put the number 360 at the top facing north. And we mean this area and this area. Now, there's a bit of an issue here because if you were to find if you were to find the definite integral between this point, uh, which is negative two, and you can use your calculator to find that. Uh, you now the probability of a is this big circle here, the eight and the seven, plus the probability of uh, b. Now stop and think about that. That's the entire circle for b. Now. What's the issue there? If I take the probability of A 